Dino Valley officially opened at Legoland California on March 22, 2024. My family was there on opening day, and in this video, I'm going to show you the opening ceremony, the opening day crowds, and the rides and attractions in Dino Valley. We arrived at Legoland around 9 a.m. and immediately headed to the left of the entrance where the Dino Valley opening ceremony was going to be held. The Legoland brass band was wearing the same costumes they wore during the world record setting Dino Dance Party. Be sure to check out my video about how dinosaurs helped Legoland set a world record. My kids were also given safari hats. I wanted to make sure I had a good spot to film the opening ceremony, so we squeezed our way to the front, and I saw that there was a spot for the kids to sit right in front of the stage. One, two, three! Hello, and thank you for coming out on this beautiful morning at Legoland California Resort for the grand opening of our new land, Dino Valley! opening ceremony included a speech from the president of Legoland, California. Please allow me to introduce our president, Kurt Stocks. Um, but what I know you're all here for today is the grand opening of Dino Valley. Yeah, um, yeah exactly. Um, three rides and an interactive build and play experience, something that we're, we're really, really proud of uh, here at Legoland, California Resort and a fun video introduction of each of the three rides in Dino Valley. Thank you for coming to help in our exploration inside Dino Valley. You're welcome. Allow me to provide you with the latest update. We have made our way to what we are calling the Duplo Little Dino Trail. We have seen the, well, to be honest with you, the cutest dinos I have ever laid my eyes on. I have made my way to the highest vantage point in all of Dino Valley. Wow. The Toaster Source, to hopefully have sights on the T-Rex. Hi, explorers. Hi. I relocated to Explorer River Quest, Whoa. the ultimate way to spot dinosaurs in Dino Valley. Okay. Check out my Dino Valley playlist to see the full opening ceremony and to see full POV ride videos of the new rides. We are so proud to announce that Dino Valley is officially open here. Opening ceremony ended at 10 a.m. when the park opened, and guests with yellow wristbands were welcomed into the new land. Everyone who didn't have a yellow wristband had to wait until noon to enter Dino Valley. Who had yellow wristbands? Media and influencers. This YouTube channel is only a year old, so we're apparently not big enough yet to receive an invite to cool things like previews of new lands. Please like and subscribe to help me grow this channel so I can get invited to preview events and provide more exclusive content on this channel. Instead of being disappointed about waiting to enter Dino Valley, my son went up to talk to the president of Legoland. He asked him if he had Mr. Gold, which is a collectible and hard to find pop badge. The answer was no, he didn't. He also asked him if he invented Lego, which again, the answer is no. Legos were invented in Denmark. I'm really proud of my son for wanting to talk to the person in charge. I only wish we had ridden the new ride, Duplo Little Dino Trail, before he talked to the president so that we could let him know about an issue we saw with this ride. More on that later. My daughter was really sad at first that we had to wait two hours to go to Dino Valley. We're gonna go at noon. But we filled the time riding some of our favorite rides, like the Dragon Roller Coaster and the Bionicle Blaster. <laughs> we also looked around the Big Shop, which is the big store near the park entrance. I noticed some new Dino Valley souvenirs, like these spirit jerseys. It reminded me of a Disneyland-style pullover. I also noticed that the Dino-themed Lego sets, like Jurassic World sets, were prominently on display. New Dino Valley merchandise. It's still. Yeah. It's still. About $50. Oh, that's cool. Is that a new one? No. Is that on the floor? Yeah, it was already on. Ooh, Lego dinosaurs. Oh. Kind of shows you how to build them. 
Around 1145, we got in line to enter Dino Valley. Yes, there was a line, and it stretched all the way back to the big shop. Around noon, when the gates opened, the line was all the way back to the entrance to Ninjago. No worries, the line moved really quickly. Dino Valley! We get to go in! Oh, look at the big Dino Valley sign! What ride do we want to go on first? But inside Dino Valley was packed. Here's a full tour of Dino Valley. We are walking through Dino Valley right now. They just opened it to the public. Coastersaurus is the first ride that you get to over here. Coastersaurus is one of three roller coasters at Legoland, and it existed long before Dino Valley opened. It's one of my daughter's favorite rides. It is unchanged. So if you've been on this ride before, it's the ride you know and love. It's time to go to Coastersaurus! Yay! Next to Coastersaurus is a meet and greet area for the land's two new costume characters, Paleontologist Girl and T-Rex Fan Guy. You can take pictures yourself for free or let the professional photographers on site take pictures and buy your photos from Legoland. Beyond the meet and greet area is a build and play area. On one side, there are Duplo blocks for building. On the other side, there's a huge sandbox, and I mean huge. The goal is to look for dino fossils. There are shovels and buckets to help you search. Across from Coastersaurus is one of two new rides in Dino Valley. This ride is called Duplo Little Dino Trail. This is a re-theme of the ride Safari Trek. The goal of the new ride is to look for a baby dino who is playing hide and seek. The ride vehicles are new. Safari Trek used to have two-seater cars. These cars seat four. They also have two steering wheels in the front seat so kids can feel like they're driving, and they have toy cameras built into the cars so kids can pretend to take pictures. Check the description box for a link to my POV video of Duplo Little Dino Trail. It also includes details about a big problem we noticed on the ride that we really think Legoland needs to fix as soon as possible. Continuing on our tour of Dino Valley, if you keep walking, on the left you'll see a couple games you can play. One is a game where you are guaranteed to win a prize. Let's see what this one is. Winner every time. This one you win no matter what. It is all guaranteed, so no matter how many fish you pick out, we'll get something no matter what. Okay. Uh, they all have numbers between 5 and 100, so are, choose one. Are those you do it all. big ones up there, is that like the smallest prize? Yeah, that's the smallest prize if you okay. do a 3 for 10. Okay. Do you want to play? Yeah? Okay. It'll be three fish for $10. That'll likely get you a small price. And then eight fish for $20 guarantees you at least a medium price. You can just scoop up eight fish in there. Once you have your eight fish, we'll bring it over to this scale. I got one. You got one. It's a fishing game. You pay to catch the fish, and then the fish are weighed. However much they weigh determines what size prize you win. My daughter wanted to play this game so she could win a rainbow dino or purple dino. We wanted to help her get a big prize, so we were looking for fish that we thought looked heavy. When we saw how the fish were weighed, we decided it looks like the fish probably all weigh the same, and there's just a code on the fish that determines a weight for the purpose of the game. All right, let's see how much, how much you got. Everybody plays. Gotcha fish here. All right, so down here is going to be the total. Up here is going to be the individual weight. It's going to reset after four fish. Goodness, that's only that's five, five pounds. pounds. Ten pounds. Tenure Not too bad. Ten pounds. Tenure Not too bad. Tenure at 25. Our points are going to get 10. You are at 35. The grand fish and tournament total is? 35 pounds. Goodness, that's only five 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 pounds. My daughter loves her purple dino, and I like games that guarantee a prize. The other game is a game where you need to knock over blocks in order to win a prize. If you win this game, the prize is bigger than at the fishing game, but you are not guaranteed to win a prize. Oh, it's a beanbag toss game. Here, let's watch them play it real quick and see how you do it. Go right ahead, go right ahead. Give it another try, give it another try. Oh, fine. Third time trying. Last one. Last one. Whoa! Now this game works. One game, one beanbag. All you gotta do is knock over all three cubes off the pedestal in one throw, and that's a win. One win would be a small prize. 
two wins would be a jumbo prize. That's considered a small prize? Yep, this would be the okay. small prize. It would be the first win. So yeah, we got two, we got three rules. One, no jump shots. Two, you gotta stand directly in front of the pedestal you wanna shoot for. And three, it's only one jumbo prize per person per day. We got two deals, three games, $10, and eight games, $20. Beyond the games, there is a face painting stand, and there's a cute lookout area where you can see the boats go by on the new ride, Explorer River Quest. My kids loved sitting down with the larger-than-life minifigure people and pretending to eat their Lego food. Also, this area was completely empty, except for us and like maybe one other family. So if you're looking for a quiet spot, despite the crowds, this might be a good place to stop and rest for a minute. You ate it all! Oh my gosh, you did! I no did. way! I actually did! I believe it. I, uh, okay. I was so hungry. There's dinosaur footprints on the ground! Good! Call out, Molly! Welcome! Good theming! Next is a great photo op spot where you can pose with a dino made out of Legos. Next, we reach Explorer River Quest, which is also a new ride. It's actually a re-theme of the ride Fairy Tale Brook. Yay. Molly, are you excited? Yeah! New ride! Yay! This is the dinosaur world. Keep your eye out for dinosaurs. We're going to look for a T-Rex on this ride. Yeah. Yeah! We're not 100% sure if they replaced the ride vehicles, which were boats shaped like leaves before, and they're still boats shaped like leaves. However, the boats look new, so if they're not new, they at least got a fresh coat of paint. On this ride, you float in a leaf-shaped boat down a river looking for the T-Rex. Along the way, you'll see a lot of other dinos, which are all made completely out of Legos. These boxes aren't actually made out of Legos. Are they? Yes, they are. They are. They look too smooth at first. Check the description box for a POV ride video of the entire Explorer River Quest ride. Tunnel coming up. What's going to be in the tunnel? What do you think of the new ride, Molly? Was it scary or fun? What? Fun. fun? Then if you continue on, you've made it all the way to LEGO Movie World, which is much easier to get to now that Dino Valley is no longer blocked off. Check the description box for my video about rope dropping LEGO Movie World when Dino Valley was closed. And be thankful that those days are over. It feels so awesome to be able to walk through right here. Yay! Well, Dino Valley well, now well, open. Well, no more barricade. Dino Valley does not have a restaurant or food stand of any kind. It also does not have a gift shop. However, Lego Movie World has a restaurant, food stands, and a store. So head there if you're hungry or feel like shopping. I noticed some Dino Valley souvenirs in the awesome shop at Lego Movie World. And my son continued the Dino Valley fun by trading one of his mating figures with a Legoland employee in Lego Movie World who had a T-Rex fan guy minifigure on her badge. It was the perfect minifigure trade for opening day of Dino Valley. Be sure to check the description box for a link to my full tour of Lego Movie World where everything really is awesome. And let me know in the comments which ride you're most excited about in Dino Valley. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and ring the bell so you're notified about upcoming videos about Legoland California and other fun places worth visiting in Southern California and beyond. See you next time.